Hey everyone, I just want to say I'm blown away by the amount of support you all have been showing me lately and I feel like a broken record here, but I gotta thank you guys so much for all the support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So today, I want to talk about a game that I've been playing off and on for about two years now. Hunt Showdown is a game I've always enjoyed, not only for the aesthetic of being a bounty hunter, but because it lets you embrace the high stakes, high reward lifestyle. This new genre of extraction shooters has been a ton of fun to explore. But no other game has kept me as interested as Hunt Showdown has. The overall goal of Hunt is to go into a game either solo or with your team, find clues around the map that lead you to your bounty target, and hopefully defeat the bounty before anyone else does. But what usually ends up happening is another team will get there before you do, and then the real game of Hunt begins. See, in a match of Hunt, you never really feel safe. You're always suspecting somebody's lurking in the shadows or waiting to ambush you, so taking precautions should always be your priority and making sure that you can survive is key. Speaking of survival, the use of audio alone can save your life. I find myself listening for information all the time, whether it be for footsteps, gunshots, or even death calls. You can gain so much information just by listening to your surroundings. And I do think that's why Hunt has kept me interested for so long. Hunt has some of the best audio I've ever heard in a game, and I've come to appreciate it as another game mechanic that improves with time. Crytek has not only made the bayou stand out, but its environment as well. From the ambience to the wildlife around you, everything has a purpose. The wildlife can give away your position as well as the infected population around the bayou, so you always want to be on your toes. And since Hunt Showdown isn't just considered a player versus player game, more times than I can count, I've probably died to a teammate or the infected monster just as much. Something worth remembering is that this is a player versus environment game too. The bayou is just as deadly as the competition, and sometimes Hunt can be harsh. As far as extraction shooters go, in my opinion, Hunt Showdown isn't as hardcore as some others. I'm not saying it's any easier because it isn't, but it is more of a casual experience. Now if you die in the game, you lose your hunter, all of the goodies you bought for them, and you come back to the main menu with nothing, just to start all over again, just like any other hardcore extraction shooter. I used to be really upset whenever I'd lose a hunter because I felt like I wasted my money, but now I see it as an opportunity to better my aim with whatever hunt gives me. So upon losing your hunter in the last match, you can go into your recruitment tab and as long as you've played a single match, you'll have a free hunter with a random loadout waiting for you. I use this to keep myself from ever losing money, especially when I'm having a bad day and losing a bunch. I also find it a lot of fun to use a randomized loadout from time to time. Now if you're smart with your money, then the economy will never really affect you. I tend to use more free hunters than I do any other hunter, and that's solely so I can save my money for the loadouts I want later on. This is so when I get to a point where I'm a higher level, I can buy all the weapons that I want, and even the hunters that I want without any real repercussion of losing them. I can also just enjoy myself without having to worry about losing too much money. Hunt Showdown has been adapting its gameplay over the years, and it allows you now to go after quest lines and daily challenges with your friends. This opens the door for a more rewarding experience, and it also changes your playstyle from time to time too. This happens to be one of my favorite additions to the game, not only for myself, but for the engagements that I would see within the matches from other hunters. Some quests require you to burn hunters, or even poison them, so being flexible with your playstyle can help a lot here too. Although Hunt is a very niche game, I find myself coming back nearly every week, whether it's for grinding out quest lines, or just running a few matches with my friends. Hunt will always be one of those games that I'm really happy that I stuck with. This game has a high skill ceiling and it takes some time to learn the maps, mechanics, and the weapons. But once everything clicks, it can be one of the most rewarding gaming experiences you can have. Hunt just happens to be a game that fits me perfectly, and that's why I love it. It always allows room for improvement and I consistently find myself learning from my own mistakes. To me, Hunt Showdown is another hidden gem, and I look forward to seeing where this game is going to be heading in the near future. As always, I want to thank you all for coming by and lending me a few minutes of your day. It means a lot to me. I hope you all find the game that feels right for you, and you get to enjoy it whenever you can. Anyways, my name is Zen, and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.